Hey everybody, welcome back to Quinn's Cones. I'm your host, Mr. Cones, and today, very special guest. I'm just gonna let him introduce himself. My name is Roger, and I'm the first out-of-house guest on Quinn's Cones. It's true, it's true. We've only had in-house guests, sisters, and that's it. Now, we have friends. We're expanding here at Quinn's Cones. The real ones know Roger from the sleep documentary that I made a few years back. And I'll play a clip of that. Very good. It's a very good watch. You should check it out. Setting the atmosphere of the room is an essential part to sleeping. Pathetic fallacy. I gotta set the tone of my bedroom to the tone of how I feel. For example, this mood light. I'm in a happy mood when I go to sleep. Make it green. If I'm feeling very peaceful, I can make it a nice shade of blue. If I'm feeling angry, or maybe even just romantic, make it red. Do you have any fond memories of the sleep documentary, Roger? Um, I would like to say I still keep the same sleep habits to this day, and everything in that video was based on a true story. Okay, it's all factual. Cool. Today, very special ice cream. <laughs> Before we jump into it, I'm gonna talk about it. Chapman's, but not just any Chapman's, Chapman's Premium. And it was handpicked by Roger himself at the local grocery. Which flavor is it today, Roger? What do we got today? We're gonna pause for a second. Before we jump right into it. Okay. I do have a special gift for Mr. Collins himself. For me? For him. I for forgot about this. Also picked up at the local grocery store. I'm gonna let him do the unboxing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hand wrapped. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. Roger. He got me my own scoop. Oh my gosh. I've seen some of the struggles on Quinn's Collins where he, he tries to scoop out the ice cream with a big spoon. Yeah. Which is definitely a method, especially it, for your local house. An unconventional one. Especially when we can't go out to grocery stores unless it's essential. Yeah. So while I was there, I decided to we needed one of these. While he was today. while he was picking up the essential ice cream. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Of course, anytime. This My is pleasure. how this is why he's on Quinn's Cones. You just gotta shower me with gifts. <laughs> That's very special. Today we have Chapman's ice cream, chocolate and cheesecake. Very good. With saucy spots as the <laughs> with saucy spots as the product. <laughs> with saucy spots, as the packaging suggests. From what I gather, chocolate vanilla base, it's got some cheesecake chunks with a little dash of chocolate sauce in it, is it? Chocolate sauce and, yeah, you're right, little tiny bits of cheesecake, I would assume. Mm. Are you a fan of cheesecake? I'm a huge fan of cheesecake. Cheesecake is my favorite cake, um, and I love making cheesy jokes all the time, so yeah. I like cheese, I like cake, I like cheesecake. It's, it's, it's perfect. That's one of the main reasons why I had to pick this one for today's episode. Right off the bat, just a quick glance at the packaging. It's pretty premium. Premium. It gives me Magnum vibes with the black and gold combination. They really, they really play together nicely on the packaging. There were a lot of packages in the store, but for some reason this one, it just had the best display. Like it was put together, it had good fonts, it was readable from a far distance. And the image of the ice cream itself just looked Absolutely amazing. And awesome. you got the kids on the side. The Chapman's kids. A classic. Chapman's, Canadian company. I have a feeling this is gonna go head to head with Kortha Dairy. Both Canadian, both natural, not too processed, and I'm just excited to see where this goes. Packaging, it does entice me like you said. I'm gonna personally give it a four out of five. It's pretty clean. That's a bold statement to put it up against Kortha Dairy's. It that's, is, that's but- That's a big one. You know, we we take risks on, on the wow. Queen's Cones. We don't, we don't sit here passive, just let, letting things slide. We we attack things head on. I would agree with the four out of five. Yep. I think it's just missing a little bit of like flair, like something yeah. Yeah, to yeah, definitely. entice maybe the younger audience out there. Yeah. But for us young adults, yes. thriving, <laughs> I think this is very young adultish for us. It is, you're very correct. For, so, the, for the health buffs out there, we got a little real dairy milk symbol. So uh, you, do, you can do the honors, pop the top. Just pop the top. We got a little bit of rippage in between yeah. the seal and the lid. I don't know if that's a construction mm -hmm. error or a Roger's pure you strength. You know what? Let's try the other side and figure it out. 
Okay. Well, sure. I just took a sneak peek at the bottom, and I'm very excited. I, I I'm saw, very excited. I saw a little little chocolate. I think we gotta hold this up. Are we ready? Yep. Wow. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect 50-50 split between the authentic vanilla with the authentic wow. chocolate. Riddle with chocolate sauce in between. Don't see any cheesecakes, cheesecake yeah. chunks just based on the surface. Okay, may I do the honors? You may. Let's just jump right into it. I'm so proud. <laughs> do we want to use the scoop scoop? That's a perfect idea. <laughs> Look at the top of this. That's... Wow. That's nuts. Except there's no nuts. I think it's peanut free. Do we think it's swirled underneath? I think it's a... It's, this packaging suggests it's straight down half the middle, half. half and half. Little peak down the side, down the bezel here. It does seem to continue to be half and half, but there's only one way to find out. Here we go. It's very Whoa. soft. Very soft. Get, On your mark. Get set, go. It's very smooth. I like this. Very what, what do you think? First impression so far. It's very different. Mm -hmm. Like it's not your, I was kind of expecting a vanilla chocolate mix, but it really isn't. It's its own little mm -hmm. cheesecakey type of flavoring mm -hmm. to it. So I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm tasting the vanilla and the chocolate sauce. It does just taste like generic chocolate sauce. I'm not yeah. complaining. I love For that. Sure. Like the, uh, the stuff that comes in the Nest Quick Bunny, the bunny sauce, if you will. First bite, it's good, not the best thing I've ever had. I'm thinking about what I wish it had and I'm coming up with blank, so I think it will be on the better side of my ratings, but, but it's just not really hitting me as much as I thought it was going to personally. I think first bite, three out of five. I would agree with that, just because it was very smooth and it does have its nice little taste to it. I definitely think I was really looking forward to the cheesecake bites or a little bit more mm -hmm. of a cheesecake flavor to mm -hmm. it, but it's just not there. So I will give it a three out of five. If we're allowed to, a three and a half out of mm -hmm. five. So we can do that. I'm gonna go with a three and a half out of five. In terms of texture, very smooth. It slides right down. Not much chewing is needed. It was very soft, very fluffy. I think so that's a good word to describe yeah, it. Fluffy. Very. <sighs> I don't know the word I'm trying to think of, but very that. You do get the the dairy as well as the kind of viscosity of the chocolate sauce. The kind of like gobbiness of it's it. It's right in between. It's in between chocolate sauce and ice cream. I would yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's a little thicker than yogurt, I would say. That's that's, that's a very good where comparison. I would place it. Yeah. For texture, again, I'm gonna go with a three out of five. Hmm. What about you, Roger? Personally, I'm a big fan of smoother ice creams rather than the like yeah. frozen cold hard stuff. So for me, honestly, the texture more... is a five out of five. Five out of five. Yeah, from Roger. I love the texture. Okay, you're more of a soft serve. I am a soft serve you, you type don't, of guy. You don't want to. Sure. You don't want to have to work for it. Mm -hmm. Bite into it and lick away until it's ready to eat. Yeah. I don't have to bite it in any way. Yeah. It's not getting stuck in my teeth. Even the chocolate sauce isn't too chewy as it can be sometimes, where it's like a chocolate fudge type yes. of consistency. Yes, finally, so, someone understands. I think, yeah, that's why it's a five out of five for me. It's just yeah. so smooth. I don't have to work for it, but it's still, it's not watery. Yeah. It's not like- It's still rewarding, even though yeah. you don't have to work for it. In terms of aftertaste, chocolate sauce, not overwhelming, but it does have a presence. I'm gonna say that I wish the vanilla did have a little bit more real estate in my mouth afterwards. It's being heavily dominated by the chocolate dairy as well as the chocolate sauce. I'm gonna have to give the aftertaste a three out of five as well. I'm I'm leaning towards a more mid-tier rating yeah. for this ice cream. Yeah, I would say the aftertaste, yeah, I would agree with the three out of five. Okay. It's it had a good taste. Yeah. It left me wanting a little bit more, mm -hmm. but like there's no way I would finish the whole package in one sitting. It's strong. It's, yeah, it's bit. very strong. It's not rich, but yeah. it's strong. It's, you get it? I get it. I we get it. it. We just got I it. just like that you use the word rich. Rich? Yeah, rich. 
Like it's, I, I say rich often. You do say rich yeah. often. I've watched all 12 episodes of Quinn's Cones to date. Yes. Of course. We have a big fan over here today. This could be you. This could be this you. This could be you. This could be you. Just buy me an ice cream scoop <laughs> and this could be you. You should hold the contest. Oh. <laughs> Who's the biggest cone head out there? Who's the biggest cone head? Who's the biggest ice screamer? Someone out there. Someone out there. Unless he's sitting right next to me. Who knows? Who's the second biggest? Who's the second biggest coner cone. out there? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Say, I'm a coner <laughs> in the comments. So in terms of wow factor, I'm gonna be honest, again, three out of five. It, it was, it hit me. I was like, oh damn, the chocolate sauce. Oh yeah. But, but, it didn't hit me as hard as something, say, Kawartha Dairy Salted Caramel Truffle, would that just blew me away, blew my socks off, knocked me off my feet. This was a bit more mundane, a bit more chill. I would agree with the two out of five. Three out of five. Sorry, yeah. three out of five. Yeah, yeah. I might lower it to a two out of five. Ooh. Only because I was really hoping again for, for the, the cheesecake bites. Yeah, for those I'm solid pieces. I'm a big pieces. fan of little items hidden in the ice cream, whether it be cookie dough, mm -hmm. little pieces of chocolate, cheesecake, but this was missing that. Mm -hmm. And even when I bought it, I thought that the little dots on the container, like some of them might have had to do with cheesecake, but yeah. it just wasn't there. So again, like I'll give it a two out of five, three out of five, just because it tastes good. I'll mm -hmm. give it the taste, everything, but I was really, really disappointed no, that's with completely no, justified. No you, you were bites. expecting a thrillful hunt for sure through the ice cream to find the cheesecake pieces and they were absent. They were just not there. And that's yeah, two out of five. I might no I'm gonna stick with the three. The word to describe Chapman's premium, it's very fluffy. Don't have to work too hard, but it's not melting all over you by being too soft. I would 100% agree with fluffy. I don't know why the word delectable is sticking, delectable. Out, is sticking out in my mind. We have a big brain so. over here. <laughs> so do you have any final thoughts on this or? I don't think so. Again, like anything, anything you want to tell the Chapman kids? The Chapman kids, I'm very impressed with the variety of their ice creams. Mm -hmm. When I got to the store, I was having such a hard time choosing that I had to call Mr. Cohen's and go through the at least 10, 12 different flavors that yeah. our grocery store had out. So the, there was a flavor screening process. For sure. Yeah. So for the Chapman's kids, thank you for producing such wide varieties of your ice cream <laughs> and your dairy. Very cool. So thank you guys for watching. This has been episode 12 of Quinn's Cones. Special guest, Roger. Is this 12 or 11? This is 12. We are film We film a week ahead over at Quinn's Cones Studio. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Roger. Thank you for having me. It's, it's been a pleasure. It's always fun to hang out with thank Roger. Thank you for having me. Yes. And allowing me to join this adventurous outing yes. for Chapman's chocolate and cheesecake saucy ice cream. <laughs> Very saucy. Very saucy. I can't wait to have more guests on, so if you want to be a guest on the show, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.